Well, now let's consider this uh, function. y equals negative 1 half times 2 to the power of x minus 1 plus 3. So we should be able to sketch this graph, because really this is just a basic exponential graph. The basic one in here is y equals 2 to the x. That's the basic exponential function in there. And all that has happened to that graph is that there has been transformations to it. So it's a combination of transformations, which we've already learned how to do, to our new graph, which is our basic one, y equals 2 to the x. So let's graph the basic graph of y equals 2 to the x. We should know our basic graph of y equals 2 to the x comes along our x-axis, goes through the point a half, goes through this point here, and then when x is 1, y is 2, when x is 2, y is 4. So there's our basic graph, y equals 2 to the power of x. That was the one I graphed this in green. Let's put these colors the same. Okay, so y equals 2 to the power of x. So now I'm going to do my transformations. I've got a negative here. So that's a reflection in the x-axis, and y is replaced with minus y. So my new graph, I don't know if I have enough colors here or not. Let's do this one in black. So reflecting in the x-axis, 2 up, 2 down, 4 up, 4 down. There's y equals negative 2 to the power x. Then we have a half. This is like really a 2y, so this is a vertical compression by a half. So I need to vertically compress this by a half. So all of my y values will now be half of what they used to be. Well, half of nothing is still basically nothing here. Here's, here's negative 1. Half of that would be negative a half. Here's y value of negative 2. Half of that is negative 1. Here's a y value of negative 4. Half of that is negative 2. Okay, so there is the graph vertically compressed by a half. And then the last thing I have to do is move it right 1 and up 3. Right 1 and up 3. So I'm going to get these key points back on here again. I'll make them a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to work with those three key points. And then we have, don't forget, we have our asymptote. So the asymptote of the function is right along the x-axis here, but we're going to move this whole thing right 1 and up 3. So our asymptote, if we move this right 1 and up 3, will now be centered along the line y equals 3. So, moving this point, moving this point right 1 and up 3, puts it right here. So we're going to be zooming along the x-axis. Sorry, we're going to be zooming along our asymptote now, which is no longer the x-axis. And we're going to cut through that point, moving this point right 1 and up 1, 2, 3. And moving this point right 1 and up 1, 2, 3. It makes our graph look like this. So here's our key points. And there's my rough sketch of the graph. Y equals negative 1 half times 2 to the power x minus 1 plus 3.